sound test mic what's up guys learning with rich here so for this video i'm going to show you how to use dynamo for clash detection okay so not only revit can do clash detection and navis works but you can also do your interference checking or clash detection in revit so that is what we are going to talk about so let's start it so again for you to be able to follow we are going to create a new project here so i'm going to use a template uh, i'm going to use mechanical template so i select mechanical template and then i'm just going to select ok all right so let's do some clash detection but of course we need to have an element here so let's say for example i'm going to do a clash detection between the dock and a pipe so I'm going to draw a duct here. So I select the duct and then I'm going to draw a duct. Any size will do. Okay, so this is just an exercise. So there's my duct and then I'm going to use here the pipe tool. So I select the pipe and then I'm going to deliberately intersect that to my duct here. So I'm going to change my view to the 3D so that just to make sure that they are clashing all right so as you can see they are indeed clashing so going back to my uh one dash mac view i'm going to draw more uh exercise elements here for our testing so let's say that's my duct again so this time around i'm going to create another uh pipe series of pipes so one two and three okay and another duct okay so how about duct again okay so i'm going to draw a series of ducts all right and then i'm going to go ahead and select again the pipe tool okay so obviously they are all clashing so what we are going to do we're going to make a uh, dynamo tells us if they are really indeed clashing to each other or not okay so again just to make sure let's go to the 3d view and then check out that they are already clashing by the way the reason why your pipe here is showing single line it's because of your detail line here it's set to medium so if i'm going to change that to fine you can see that that's your pipe right okay so this is our uh, exercise uh, model for our clash detection all right so let's start our dynamo so let's go to the manage here and then let's go check the dynamo here let's launch the dynamo so we will be creating a new workspace for our dynamo so i'm going to select here new okay so this is our workspace so we are going to do it first here okay so i'm going to introduce you guys a node here so we will be use uh, i'm going to introduce you one node so new node for this exercise but before that we need to select first the element so we know this node already select model okay so you have couple of select model element here the other one has s so I'm, I think I'll be using the S one, the select model elements, All right? So that's my first node. So I'm just going to click another one. So I need two of this node because it's, we will be selecting these two elements here. Okay, so let's go start. So I'm going to select here, select. And then since this is select model elements, you can just simply single click the object so you need to use a window selection or crossing selection like this okay so I'm going to cross this one so as you can see it's now selected there dynamo reads that element as a duct which is obviously correct so I'm going to use the other one select model element select and then I'm going to select the pipe here all right so now it's read uh, it reads here as, as, a, as, as a pipe okay now the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to convert these selected elements to dynamo model elements so how to do that i think you know that already this is um uh, element geometry so element 
geometry so let's look for geometry geometry where are you okay so how about i type uh, geometry so geom element geometry okay so ele geometry that element <laughs> still not here where exactly is that one so element dot geometry okay so there you go all right, so we're going to use this one. So get all the geometry associated with this object. So I'm going to select this. Okay, so I need a couple of this one for the first element for the dock and then the other one is for the pipe. So I'm going to click again, geometry. There you go. All right, so we are going to convert the selected model element to Dynamo uh, model element. Okay, so to do that, so you need this. Uh, node. So you know this already. So this is not a new nodes here. This couple of node. So we've been using that. So let's connect that. So let's connect that. Okay. Now that you have connect that, so you can change your view to 3D background. So you can click that, and then you can right click, zoom to fit. There you go. So there's our two element here. Okay, so obviously it's clashing. So let's go back to our graph node. So let's click this one. All right, <clears throat> now the next thing that we're going to do. All right, so this is the node that I'm, I'm talking about. So it's called intersect. Okay, so this one does intersect. It's like asking if, if it is intersecting or not. So it says does intersect. So it determines if another geometry object intersects with uh, this one so as you can see it has uh, one input oh I, I, I mean two input so you have a geometry input and then other geometry input and then the output is a boolean so it's kind of yes or no okay if it is um, clashing or intersecting the boolean output is yes if it is not then no all right so so let's select does inter uh, intersect all right so as you can see you have two input here and then we have two input here okay so we have this pipe and then we have the duct here so let's just connect that connect and then connect there you go so as you can see if you hover your pointer here and then you hover your pointer there you'll be able to see the the boolean output which is true okay so meaning obviously this is intersect uh, intersecting that's the reason why it says here true okay so now uh, let me just use watch node okay so that I no need to hover my pointer here so I just connect my watch node to this one there you go okay so that's so we have one result here and then it's true okay so there's an intersection between this dock and pipe all right, so let's move on to our next exercise model ele uh, elements here, which is this one. There you go. So let's check out if these three pipes are intersecting with this duct here. So let's do this one. Obviously, they are intersecting. So what we are going to do, since we are going to use the same nodes here, so I'm going to select all of these nodes, and then I'm going to hold control, move my pointer to one of the node, and then I'm going to hold my left click and then drag it. Okay, just like that. There you go. So all we have to do here is to change the selection or the element here. So I'm going to select change here. And then I'm going to select my dock. I'm going to cross my dock here is it like this. Okay, so it's now there. And then I'm going to select change here. Change that one. And then from Revit, orbit a little bit. And then let's do a crossing selection. Okay, so change. So I need to select all of these three at once. All right, so we now have three elements here. Okay, so as you can see, I have uh, three and then I have one element. So one dock and then I have one pipe here. Okay, so it's already converted to a Dynamo model element. So I just need to pan that, enable the 3D background. And then as you can see, there's our elements there. Okay. So let's go back to the graph navigation view. All right. Now, as you can see, I only have here one uh, one output. Okay. So I only have here one output. So this is 
actually the reason why I only have one output here instead of three outputs it's because the setting of my uh, uh, geometry does intersect node lacing so as you can see if you right click this there is this uh, option that is called lacing so as you can see it sets to auto so probably this auto uh, option here is set to shortest okay and then if your lacing is uh, uh, selected shortest or auto the auto here I'm pretty sure that this is shortest so that's the default so auto that's a shortest so if it is set to shortest what happens is dynamo okay in this uh, three list that we have here and then we have one here okay so dynamo will only check the intersection to the nearest uh, list here on our uh, selected model elements so in our case so it's between the dock and then this the zero okay the zero element which is this one okay all right so that's the reason why you only have one output because the setting of your geometry does intersect here the lacing is set to auto or shortest so if it is set to shortest so that is what will uh, what will happen okay so that is what will happen there okay so as you can see I'm just going to zoom in can okay, see it nicely okay there you go all right so this one so this element here is actually this element so if I'm going to move that if I'm going to move this one so what will happen is let's say if I move it away from the dock automatically this one will change okay it will change to false okay so let's do that um, uh, checking so just to make sure that the clashes or the intersection here is being done with dock and then the zero pipe here which is this element so what I'm gonna do is okay so this one so I'm going to uh, click this pipe here and then I'm going to just drag it away just like that so there's no oh as you can see it automatically updates here so what happens is if we go back to the result now it says false here okay so that's how dynamo uh, do the computation it's really smart so when you try to update it here in Revit automatically it will update that in dynamo so as you can see we are correct since this uh, does intersect node here is set to lacing auto or shortest so what happens is it checks the intersection between the dock and then the nearest one the zero pipe here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it back so I'm going to go back to Revit and then move the pipe there and then automatically again it updates here this one and then it's now true so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the lacing so I'm going to right click this one instead of as auto or shortest I'm just going to select longest here so select longest and there you go so you now have several uh, output here so I now have here three outputs so what happens is dynamo um, check the intersection between the dock against these three pipes here so dock against zero dock against one dock against two and then the reading is this one so all are true okay so the output are true so all of this intersect so again if I'm gonna move this one let's say this one I drag away it updates now it says here false okay it's intelligent all right so that's for our uh, second exercise so the other one the last one okay so let's do this so same procedure so I'm going to select all of these nodes hold control hover my pointer to one of the node and then drag it below so I can copy it there you go so all you have to do is to change the selected elements so I'm gonna orient first my Revit model here so that I can easily select it all right so something like this so I'm going to change it so I select the change select all the three pipes here so as you can see I have three pipes 
all right so let me just move this up there you go so i select change here so this time the dot there you go all right so as you can see now let's check out the output okay so now the output here oops zoom in how come it's not zooming in okay so you can see this is now the output so we have four outputs here okay so what we are going to do let's try to uh, change this one so instead of doing the lacing of our geometry does intersect here to largest so what we are longest what we are going to do is longest okay so what we are going to do is longest so I'm going to select here uh, instead of longest so let's select cross product so just click cross product so as you can see now here we have uh, sets of list so we have here three list okay so we have three list zero list one list and then the other one is uh, two list with a list of four list okay okay so it's so what happens if you select the cross product is that what happens is all of these elements each of these elements will intersect each of this model element so that's why you have this output so that's why you have this list here so obviously you have three sets here and then you have four sets here that's why you also have that type of uh, output here on our dynamo okay so that's why you have three set of list here okay and then on that each list you have four uh, list here also okay it's like zero against uh, zero zero against one zero against two zero against three so that's your first list now the second list is this one and so forth and so on and so forth all right okay so that's how you use your uh, dynamo to check the intersection okay and then that's how you use your lacing as well so you have three types of lacing here so you have shortest longest and then cross product okay and then the new node that we have learned here is geometry does intersect okay so there you go so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have uh, any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on our comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.